Hello and welcome to Short of Sir's classes. Today we will learn about Descartes' rule of sign and how to solve questions regarding Descartes' rule of sign in a very nice manner. So let's start with the first question. We have fx is equal to x to the power 4 minus x cube minus x squared plus x minus 1 equals 0. So, there are three variations in fx. The first variation is 1. This is variation number 1. In fact, this is variation number 1. This is variation number 2. Let me just rub this out and we'll name that as 2. And from plus to minus again, we have variation number 3. Again, if we replace x by minus x, we will have x to the power 4 plus x cube minus x squared minus x minus 1. And this gives us only one variation. This is only one variation. So, the number of number, just let me write this down, number of negative roots and number of positive roots so the number of the maximum number of negative roots is actually one and the maximum number of positive roots will be 3 or the, the the number of negative on the negative roots will remain 1 and the number of positive roots will be either 3 which is the maximum number or it will be 1 because if there are any uh, let's say imaginary roots imaginary roots roots they will exist in pairs correct so that's the solution to the first problem let's move on to the second problem which shows suppose fx is a polynomial of degree n with real coefficients coefficients which is expressible expressible as the sum of at most ceiling n by 2 now this is called a ceiling function monomials monomials suppose also that f0 is not equal to 0 show fx has at least 1 non real roots all right so how do we do this sum We'll do this sum like the number of sign changes, the number of sign changes, sign changes, uh, oops, the number of sign changes 
the sign changes in the coefficient of f of x is at most is at most ceiling n by 2 minus 1 as is the number of sign changes as is the number oops number of sign changes number of n we consider minus x instead of x x so changes in in f of minus x so by Descartes rule of signs the number of positive roots so by Descartes rule of sign the number of the number of negative roots negative roots plus the number of positive roots is at most 2 into ceiling function of n by 2 minus 2. If n is even now, now if n is even this number is this number is this tends to n minus 2 and if n is odd it is n minus 1 in both the cases in both the cases we see it is less than n it is obviously less than n now now okay let's just yeah now the fundamental theorem of algebra the fundamental mental theorem of algebra states that f has fx has exactly n complex roots with multiplicity and the above argument shows and this above argument shows that this above argument shows shows that there are fewer than n real roots so f has at least just drag this up at least one non real root and that's the proof to our question thank you for watching